American consumers, oh, they could soon see higher prices on many of the things we buy, due in part to major shipping delays over at the Panama Canal. Tonight, billions of dollars in trade to and from the United States is in jeopardy at one of the world's most important shipping routes, the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal, a triumph of engineering and human ingenuity over a century ago, now finds itself grappling with an unprecedented crisis. Over 200 ships languish in a queue, waiting for their turn to traverse the canal. The Panama Canal Authority, facing a dire situation, implemented drastic measures, reducing the number of ships allowed to transit by 50% and restricting each vessel's weight capacity by 40%. This has prompted some ships to unload cargo resorting to rail transport to cross the canal. The origins of this crisis trace back to July 2023, when the Panama Canal Authority sounded the alarm about a crucial artificial lake in Panama's inland. The situation has only worsened since then, with vessels now waiting for almost three weeks. The economic fallout is substantial, disrupting global trade routes at a time when shipping companies in the United States, which transits 40% of its container traffic through the canal, are already facing challenges. To understand the present crisis, we must delve into the canal's history. The visionary French engineer Ferdinand de Lesseps, celebrated for his success with the Suez Canal, embarked on a project in Panama in 1880. However, the dense jungle, tropical diseases, and challenging terrain proved insurmountable. After eight years and mounting setbacks, the French venture collapsed revealing corruption and bribery scandals. Despite this failure, the dream of a Panama Canal persisted. In 1903, the United States took up the mantle, securing rights from Panama after the separatists declared independence. The construction, a colossal engineering project, involved building locks, a massive dam, and carving through mountains. In 1914, the canal was completed, transforming global trade by providing a faster and more economical route between the U.S. East Coast and East Asia. Fast forward to the present, and the canal faces a new nemesis, climate change. The canal loses approximately 50 million gallons of fresh water with each ship transit, a process unsustainable in the face of the driest year in Panama's history in 2023. The water levels in the canal's crucial lakes have plummeted, forcing the authority to reduce the number of vessels passing through. Record droughts, exacerbated by El Nino, are pushing the canal to its limits. The economic repercussions are felt keenly by shipping companies forced to navigate an expensive calculus. Delays lead to auctions where companies bid substantial amounts to skip the line. Some vessels have paid millions to avoid waiting, setting records for the highest fees. If the crisis persists, companies may reroute increasing greenhouse gas emissions and shipping costs. There are potential solutions on the horizon. The Canal Board proposes building a new reservoir from the Indio River, a project estimated at $900 million. This could generate additional water, allowing for more daily passages. However, it comes with its own challenges, including displacing local populations and acquiring protected lands. The Panama Canal crisis unfolds against a backdrop of challenges for the shipping industry, including soaring oil prices and widespread layoffs. As the world races against climate change, securing the canal's future demands the same ingenuity and technical prowess that birthed this engineering marvel over a century ago. The Panama Canal, an icon of global connectivity, stands at a crossroads, and its resolution will shape the future of international trade. As the crisis deepens, concerns extend beyond economic implications. The Panama Canal plays a pivotal role in supplying fresh water to over half of Panama's population, relying on the lake for its water needs. If the water levels continue to dwindle, a humanitarian crisis looms. The displaced local populations from potential reservoir projects add a layer of complexity to the situation, requiring a delicate balance between infrastructure needs and human rights. The drought, attributed in part to the El Nino phenomenon, underscores the vulnerability of vital global trade routes to climate variability. Panama, having invested billions in improving the canal's infrastructure, faces a harsh reality. The canal, once seen as a solution to expedite global trade, now grapples with a problem that transcends economic considerations. Efforts to address the crisis 
are underway, with the proposed reservoir project offering a glimmer of hope. Yet, it is not without controversy. The potential displacement of communities and environmental concerns highlight the ethical challenges associated with such large-scale interventions. Striking a balance between economic interests and environmental and social responsibility is a tightrope walk for policymakers and the Panama Canal Authority. In parallel, the shipping industry faces its own reckoning. The escalating costs, delays and uncertainties may force a re-evaluation of global trade routes. Alternative routes through Mexico, Colombia, or other countries with coastlines in both oceans may gain traction. This shift could reshape global trade dynamics, impacting not only the shipping industry, but also the economies and supply chains of nations heavily dependent on the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal crisis serves as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of economic, environmental, and social factors in our globalized world. It prompts reflection on the long-term sustainability of critical infrastructure projects in the face of climate change. As the world grapples with these challenges, the resolution of the Panama Canal crisis will undoubtedly set precedents for addressing similar issues in other parts of the globe. The fate of the canal hangs in the balance, not just as a conduit for trade, but as a symbol of resilience and adaptation in an ever-changing world.